Hey, what's going on guys? Let's do this problem right here. The question is asking, find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by y is equal to 2x minus x square and y is equal to x cube. And also they have mentioned that x should be greater than 0. Right? Let's see how we can find it. Since they are saying this about the x-axis, so whenever we have, so we have to decide which method to use. We have cylindrical cell method and addition washer method. So we have to decide which method we are going to use. So what happens if we use cylindrical cell method? We have to use in terms of dy, right? Because if it's rotating around x-axis, this is going to be dy. But here we have everything in terms of x. So the best method to use is addition washer because in addition washer, if it's rotate about x-axis, we put in terms of dx, right? So that's going to be the best method. So let's go ahead and draw the graph first. Here we are going to use addition version method. So let's go ahead and draw the graph of this function first. So here we have a parabola opening down because if you notice this is negative x square. So this is going to be a parabola opening down. But we have to know the x intercept. To find the x intercept we just have to equate this one to zero. So here if we equate this one to zero 0 is equal to 2x minus x square and if I take x common this is going to be just 2 minus x and from this one we know that it's going from 0 to 2 right so that's going to be the x intercepts so this is starting from 0 and 2 so what's going to be the vertex right here if you notice the vertex is always going to be half of these values so we have 2 0 the one is going to be the vertex now we have to find at x is equal to 1, what's going to be the y value? To find that one, we simply put this into this equation, 1. So if we put 1 in this equation, that's going to be 2 times 1, that's 2, minus 1 square, that's just going to be 1, 2 minus 1, that's going to be 1. So the y value at x1 is going to be just 1. So the parabola is going to look like this, it's going to go from like this, it's going to go like this. And the next graph we have is y is equal to x cube. And we know the y, y is equal to x cube goes like this, right? So it goes like this. So this is the region we are interested in. First of all, we have to make sure that's the region. Before I do that, I have to find the limits of integration. To find the limits of integration, what we do, we just equate these two equations, x cube and 2x minus x square. So let's bring everything to one side. x cube plus x square minus 2x is equal to 0. And we can simplify this one by dividing everything by x. So this is just going to be x square plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Here we have to think about the values. When we multiply, we have to get negative 2. When we add, we have to get plus 1. Plus 2 and minus 1 will work, right? So let's go ahead and put that one. So here we are going to have x squared plus 2x minus x minus 2 equal to 0. Here I can take x as common. So if I take x common, this is going to be x plus 2. And here I can take minus 1 common. This is going to be x plus 2 again equal to 0. So this is going to be x minus 1, x plus 2 is equal to 0. And from this one, we know that x is going to be 1 and minus 2. But in the question they are saying x should be greater than 0 so we neglect this one because if you notice this graph right here it's going to meet in this bottom location too but uh, according to the question we don't want that region we only want this one so let's share this region and we know that this part is one this graph is not correctly representing it should be in the middle right because we know that vertex is one and this should be this is also one so it should go through the middle but this is just a rough sketch to illustrate the idea so let's go ahead and put it in this equation so we know that addition washer method so when we have addition washer method we use this equation volume equation that is phi integral radius out square minus radius in square dx Right, so this is the one since this is rotating around x axis, this is dx. And how we can find the outer radius and inner radius? 
to find the outer radius and inner radius the te technique we use is uh, we have to throw an arrow if you throw an arrow from the rotating rotating region and wherever the arrow meet last touches last that's going to be the outer region and here this is going to be the outer region and we know that equation of this region is equation of this function that's provided right here that's 2x minus x square so that's going to be the outer radius and inner radius is going to be where whenever we throw a line from the rotating region wherever it touches first that's going to be the inner region, inner radius so here this is going to be the inner radius and that is we know that x cube right so this is just going to be x cube now we have outer radius and inner radius we just have to go ahead and go ahead and plug it in this equation so we have this equation b is equal to 5 and we already know the limits of integration that is is going from 0 to 1 so that's going to be the limits of integration so this is 0 to 1 and the outer radius is 2x minus x square and this is going to be 2x minus x square square minus inner radius is x cube so this is going to be x cube square dx right and we know that we can simplify an x cube square but we have to expand this one 2x minus x square we have to expand and find what's going to be it so to find that we just write this one twice so this is going to be 2x minus x square times 2x minus x square and let's multiply everything 2x times 2x that's going to be 4x square and 2x mi times minus x square that's going to be minus 2x cube and then minus x square times 2x that's going to be minus 2x cube again and then minus x square times minus x square that's going to be plus 4 plus x power 4 and if we simplify this one this is going to be 4x square minus 4x cube plus x power 4 now this is going to be the square of this value now let's go ahead and plug into this equation so here we are going to have 5 0 to 1 4x square minus 4x cube plus x power 4 x power 4 and x minus x power 6 right now let's go ahead and do the integration so I to erase this part right here we don't want this anymore so here I trace okay so let's continue this one right here so if, if we integrate this one we have 5 in front and if we integrate this one this one is 4x cubed divided by 3 and then we have 4x power 4 divided by 4 and then we have plus x power 5 divided by 5 and then we have minus x power 7 divided by 7 and that's going from 0 to 1 let's simplify whatever we can simplify so here we can cancel this 4 and 4 and also that's the only thing we can cancel since this is 1 and 0 it's much easier otherwise it's going to be very complicating thing because we have power 5 and power 7 and everything so since it's 1 it's no problem we can just write it as 5 4 over 3 minus this is just going to be 1 right because x power 4 is the only thing remaining right here so this is just going to be 1 plus 1 over 5 and then minus 1 over 7 and if you substitute 0 that's just going to be 0 because 0 divided by 3 all of the values are related to x so when we substitute all of them are going to be 0 so we can simply subtract 0 that's not going to change anything now here we have to find a common denominator and we have 5, 7, 3. We have to find a value that can be multiplied by everything. So all we have to do is simply multiply everything. So 7 times 5 is 35, 35 times 3 is going to be 105, right? So we are going to have 105 right here and when we divide 105 by 3, what's going to be, what are we going to get? 35, right? So we have to multiply the top value by 35. 35 times 4 is going to be 140 so 140 minus this is going to be just 105 and when we divide 105 by 5 that's going to be 21 
so this is going to be 21 and then when we divide 1 of 5 by 7 that's going to be 15 so this is going to be 15 right so let's go ahead and simplify this one 140 minus 1 of 5 that's going to be 35 plus 24 is going to be 50 56 56 minus 5 is 51 41 so this one is 41 over 1 of 5 so the final answer is going to be 41 5 over 1 of 5 and that's going to be the region the volume of this shaded region i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time